Hi, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching and for subscribing. And if you're just visiting, please consider subscribing. So today I want to talk to you about rich and decadent chocolate fragrances. Fragrances that feature the note of chocolate in some cases and in some cases they don't actually have this note but the overall feel and the overall vibe that I get from these fragrances definitely makes me think of chocolate. So there will be a mix of different scents here. So let's start with what I think is a classic chocolate scent and that's Gourmand Coquine from Guerlain. Now this fragrance features the note of dark chocolate, cacao, rum, vanilla, spices, rose, and pepper. And this is such a beautiful, elegant, sophisticated, uh, in a way understated chocolate scent. It has the most beautiful and elegant chocolate in here. And although it says dark chocolate uh, in the notes, at least that's what Fragrantica says, I'm not 100% convinced that it's dark chocolate. It doesn't um, feel very dark or very bitter. Uh, it, it actually leans more towards sort of milk chocolate. So I'm not, maybe that's just how my nose perceives it, but to me, it's not very dark chocolate in here. And then you have rum and vanilla, which add sweetness and add a bit of booziness, but I would not call this scent very boozy, just slight booziness is present in here. And then rose, pepper, spices. I don't know if I really pick up these notes. I mean, I do feel like there is something there in the background, you know, making this scent more interesting and more complex than just vanilla, chocolate, and rum. But I can't say that I get any of these notes separately. Overall, it's milky, delicious, chocolate it's not too sweet and at the same time it's not too bitter so perhaps it's somewhere in between dark chocolate and really sweet milk chocolate that's probably how i would describe it and then like i said it's sweet and it has a touch of booziness i mean i think this is a classic for a reason and that's why uh, you know many people love this scent it is a beautiful beautiful chocolate scent Next one on my list is another chocolate beauty. This is Soriso from Perfumum Roma. Now, I, I've heard from some that this scent really uh, doesn't last well, doesn't perform well. You know, we all have different body chemistry. Uh, on me, it actually performs really well. You know, this is a, it's not a beast, but it's a relatively powerful scent. It lasts well, it projects well. So for me, the performance is really good. Now, what's in it? Uh, so again, there is dark chocolate, vanilla, bitter orange, and woody notes. And although some of the notes are, you know, somewhat similar to Gourmand Coquine, to me, these fragrances smell quite different. Now, here, I actually do get dark chocolate. It is um, not as sweet as Gourmand Coquine. It definitely has some um, bitterness or maybe a bit of tartness to this because bitter orange is here as well. And I really love this combination of dark chocolate with bitter orange. Uh, I think it, this type of combination tastes delicious and it smells delicious as well. And what this fragrance also has is this unbelievable creaminess i mean the creamy buttery texture here is undeniable and it is very very strong maybe even stronger than in any other scent that that i have smelled it, it almost makes me think that uh it's not hard chocolate but it's it's almost a uh, melted chocolate melted dark chocolate with some bitter orange that's what i'm getting um Beautiful, beautiful scent. I completely unisex. Uh, definitely, anyone can wear this. So this one is another chocolate beauty. Now, next one that I'm going to mention is probably my favorite out of my chocolate scents. At least, uh, favorite from the ones that actually feature the note of chocolate. Although I love all of the ones that I'm going to mention, but. 
as far as like pure chocolate scents go, I think this might be my favorite. And this is Wicked Good from Gallagher Fragrances. Now, this one has three notes, at least that's what's listed. There is milk chocolate, tonka, and vanilla. And when I first spray this fragrance, I get a burst of this milk chocolate. It is so powerful. It is so delicious. It is sweet, but it's not, it's not overpowering. It is just the most delicious, the most beautiful milk chocolate that I have ever smelled. Now, I mentioned this before. I do wish that this strong chocolate vibe would last longer. Unfortunately, it doesn't. It starts sort of going to the background relatively quickly. And then um, tonka and vanilla come into play as well. And everything kind of mixes together. So you get this sweet and at the same time, deep, uh, slightly uh, spicy chocolate. That's really what I'm getting. It is so, so beautiful. Yes, in the dry down, it becomes, it leans more towards tonka than uh, towards chocolate, but still it has that chocolate vibe. So, so gorgeous. Um, I love this one. Next, let's talk about a fragrance that doesn't actually feature a note of chocolate, but it still makes me think of chocolate and it kind of smells like chocolate to me. This is Essence Number no. 10, Amande Tonka from Ili Saab. I know this is a discontinued scent, not easy to find, but um, you know, if you ever see this available, I suggest grab it. It is such a stunner. It is, you know, somewhat gourmand, but not overly gourmand. It's not overly sweet. So even those that don't like very sweet gourmand scents, I think would enjoy this one. So the notes in here are uh, tonka, bitter almond, amorous, and sandalwood. And I think it's the tonka that, that makes me think of chocolate. I mean, this fragrance for me definitely has this uh, bakery, chocolatey kind of vibe. Like almost maybe it's some kind of, um, I don't know, croissant or some other baked good sort of covered with chocolate. That's kind of what I feel like I'm getting here. Uh, Tonka and bitter almond, I think I'm mixing together and just giving it a, a, a slight nutty uh, flavor as well. And then sandalwood just makes everything very smooth and creamy. And it is dark, it is seductive, it is deep, it is nutty, it is slightly chocolatey, and it is very smooth at the end. So this is beautiful. I think um, this was created by Francis Corcajon. Uh, I think this whole uh, essence line was created by uh, Francis Corcajon, if I remember correctly. But um, this is really, really gorgeous. Again, if you ever see this, my suggestion, grab it. Next, I have a fragrance from a house that I don't know how to pronounce correctly, so let me give it a shot. It's either Shabot, Shabad, no idea, forgive my pronunciation, and it's called Lay at Chocolate. I probably butchered all of those names. Um, anyways, I have a sample of this one, so uh, I wanted to mention this one as well because this is pure chocolate scent. Uh, this is very, very gourmand. This is very, very sweet. And this is very, very chocolatey. I mean, if you're looking for pure chocolate goodness without sort of um, interferences from anything else, this is really the one to go for. I mean, there are other notes to chocolate in here. There is uh, jasmine, there is teakwood, cedar, there is milk, vanilla, musk, well, yes, maybe all of those notes are here, probably. But really, when I smell this, I get chocolate. That's really what I'm getting. It says here that it's a dark chocolate. Um, I don't know, maybe. Again, to me, this is somewhere in between very dark and uh, milk chocolate, kind of in the middle but all I'm getting is chocolate, very, very strong chocolate. Now, the reason I don't have a full bottle of this is because 
for me, this is a little bit too chocolatey. You know, I want uh, my chocolate scents to have some other nuances to it. Some be just a little bit more complex than pure chocolate. And this one, like I said, just smells like pure chocolate. So even though I enjoy it, but you know, for now, having a sample is more than enough for me. But again, if you're looking for this pure chocolate scent, this is a great one. Next, I have another one of my favorites, a fragrance that really, really surprised me when I first got it. This is Tabac Rose from uh, BDK Parfums. And, you know, judging by the name, when I purchased this, I sort of was expecting to get a fragrance that was mostly surrounded about tobacco and rose. But I was surprised to find out that chocolate plays a really, really strong role part in this composition. So the notes that are included in here are plum, there is a lemon, there is pepper, there is chocolate, rose, tobacco, of course, patchouli and labdanum. And this is such a complex fragrance. This is such a gorgeous fragrance. I've mentioned before that this is almost to me is like two in one type of fragrance. What I get in the opening is very different than what I get in a dry down. I'm getting uh, plums with patchouli and with a little bit of tobacco in the opening. That's mostly what I get. And when it starts drying down, warming on the skin, it changes drastically for me. The rose is coming forward and chocolate is coming forward as well. Uh, tobacco and patchouli are still there, but uh, very much in the background, mostly at the forefront. I'm getting rose and chocolate and it's like it's a chocolate covered rose. And you know, I love both of these notes. I love rose and I really enjoy the note of chocolate. So this is absolutely gorgeous, very complex, very interesting scent, at least to my nose. And, uh, you know, I know some people, again, I, I've heard that they complain about the performance of BDK fragrances. You know, typically fragrances don't last well on me, but I've had good luck with all of the BDK uh, perfumes that I have. They all last very decently on me. They perform pretty well. None of them are beasts, but at the same time, they perform really well. So Tabac Rose is a real, real gem. Of course, I couldn't do this video without mentioning Fea Fab Delicios from uh, Maison Dior. Uh, this fragrance has a lot of notes. Uh, I don't think it actually has the note of chocolate, although it does have the note of cacao. There's tonka in here, of course. There's vanilla, sandalwood, there's mint. There are a lot of other notes. I'm not going to go through all of them. And I think it's the mix of tonka and cacao that, again, is giving me this chocolate vibe. Now, the chocolate in here is definitely not as prominent as in majority of the other fragrances that I mentioned already. But at the same time, if you're just looking kind of for kind of this uh, subdued, just a hint, just a reminder of chocolate mixed together with, you know, this beautiful tonka and with beautiful aromatic touches that this has, then this is the scent for you. Again, this is gorgeous, this is beautiful, and I even don't mind the um, sort of minty aromatic touches that I'm getting in the opening because the dry down of this fragrance is to die for. Another fragrance that I absolutely had to mention in this lineup is Black Phantom from Kellyan. You know that this is one of my favorites. It has been Ever since I purchased it, this is a sort of hate it or love it type of fragrance. I get it. For me, it's a definite, definite love. Uh, this one has dark chocolate. It has rum. It has caramel. There's coffee, almonds, sandalwood, sugarcane, heliotrope. I mean, you can see from the notes how deep and how thick this fragrance must be. And it is like that to me. It is definitely very thick. It is very powerful. It it could be cloying to some. I do understand it, but for me, I get this nutty, chocolatey, smooth, creamy kind of vibe from this. Although rum is here, to me, 
The boozy element is almost non-existent in this fragrance. This is much more about chocolate and almond and sandalwood. That's kind of what I'm getting more than anything else. Very thick, very deep, very gooey. This is gorgeous, gorgeous scent. Absolutely unisex. Both me and my husband enjoy this one and it's definitely one of our favorites from everything that I have. And the last one that I want to mention here is another scent that doesn't feature the note of uh, chocolate, but it does give me chocolatey vibe. This is La Belle Le Parfum Intense from Jean-Paul Gaultier. Basically, their uh, second release from this line. And this one, again, I, I don't know if I have all the notes because they might have changed some Fragrantica, but originally they just had pear, tonka, jasmine, vanilla. Again, not sure if that covers everything, but uh, I've mentioned before that the opening of this fragrance is uh, very, very similar to the original uh, La Belle, but very quickly it starts changing. This one is definitely deeper, darker, more intense. I mean, I can definitely see the, why this is called the intense version. Tonka that's in here again is the chocolatey type of tonka that definitely gives it chocolate vibe. And although there is pear mentioned I don't get a lot of pear. Instead of that, I almost get a mix of some type of um, red uh, fruits or red berries. So it's almost like vanilla mixed with these red berries mixed with this chocolate tonka. It is absolutely gorgeous, just as beautiful as the original label. I really enjoy both. Can't tell you which one is better because I enjoy both. Although they are similar, but they're also different at the same time. Anyways, I'm not going to compare the two here, but this one, the intense version, definitely gives off uh, chocolate vibes to me. So there you go. This was the last fragrance in my selection. These are rich and decadent chocolate fragrances that I really enjoy wearing. Would love to know if you enjoy the note of chocolate and what are your favorite scents featuring this note? Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you soon in the next video. Bye.